everybody, it's Marion from Life Unboxed, and um, it's been a hot minute since I've been uh, since I've made a video. So I thought today would be a good day. Uh, I'm going to take you into the kitchen with me, and we're going to make some um, crusty bread with einkorn flour. Now that is a healthy, um, non-processed flour. You can look it up at. Um, Trader Joe's or Thrift Market, Thrift Store, a, th a Thrive, Thrive Store. And um, it is straight from the uh, farmers and it's uh, non-processed and it's what they we used to use back before they started processing flour and bleaching it and all that. So uh, this is a first for me for using einkorn flour in a bread mix. Um, so we're going to try that out. Um, I did not grease the uh, um, 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 paper, you know, the um, paper, that you, parchment paper that you put in the um, big pot. Um, so that might cause a problem. Hope not, but it might. Um, I have that in the oven right now at 450, no, 425. And that cooks for 30 minutes, bakes for 30 minutes. I'm also making some roasted garlic. And I'm going to prepare a um, Big Mac salad for uh, Nathan and I. So um, if you're interested in this, please stay tuned. Um, I will have the recipe and everything down below in the um, description box. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Thank you so much for coming by. I do appreciate any new subscribers, and I do appreciate my tried and trues as well. And don't forget, there is a giveaway um, on my channel for the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. It's a $75 gift card of your choice. So um, that uh, video will be down in the description box as well. Okay, let's get started on this meal. Okay, so I've already got the garlic ready. Um, it has, it's two large uh, heads of garlic and it's olive oil and you can see it in there. And I'm gonna wrap it up with this um, foil after my bread comes out. And I'm gonna show you, it's in this big um, cast iron, and I forgot the name of it. You know, sometimes things just slip. It was, sometimes things slip your mind. So, I'm going to get the um, ingredients um, together for the salad. So, we're going to be hopping back and forth to the bread, to the garlic, to the salad. So, stay with me and we'll get this thing done. So I've been trying to get Nathan and I um, eating more healthy. Um, yes, it's low carb. It's not no carb. It's low carb and healthier food. Um, I got my eggs today over at the farm, the Zoe Farms here in uh, um, Maslin, and uh, they're a little pricey, but I think they're worth it. Um, you don't have to refrigerate them when you get them from the fresh farm, so we have them on the counter. And um, I've been watching this thing, this, uh, it's a, um, oh my God. It's a, it's not a story, what is it? Uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, it's about the food we eat. It's called Food Inc. And um, it's not on Netflix, Netflix, it's on Prime. So if you get a chance to look at it, by all means do so because it will open your eyes to what's going out the, on out there in our food industry and the government. Yeah, the government's got a lot to do with it. So um, have a look at it and you'll be shocked. Shocked. So um, you know that I am a um, subscriber or a um, director in the Melaleuca um, health uh, store and um, they now have uh, beef 
that is uh, pure farm raised. Um, it's there's no grain. They don't give them corn. They just it's grass fed all the way and um, to the right to the end and um, grass finished is what it's called grass fed and grass finished so um, I have my beef coming from there and I get my chicken the same place where I get the uh, um, eggs Zoe farms here and like I said it's a little pricey but it's just me and Nate um, unless we have company and so that's very um, cost-effective for us um, if it's going to help with our health and it helps keep us healthy um, it's mighty mighty worth it so um, let me look up that recipe for the uh, Big Mac uh, salad and I will be right back okay here we go so the ingredients you're going to need for the Big Mac salad is ground beef, um, 85-15 is the ratio, um, sea salt and black pepper, romaine lettuce, I can I use either one, but I have romaine, but I also have um, regular lettuce, tomatoes, cheddar cheese, pickles, sesame seeds if you want it, and that is the salad. Now the dressing is mayonnaise. Um, this person, it's um, from the website at wholesomeyum.com. So I will put that down below uh, in the description box as well. So the Big Mac sauce is mayonnaise and she makes her own but and I could make my own too it's very easy Ma making your own mayonnaise is so easy um, pickles use dill pickles finely uh, dice finely for the special sauce I have a jar of pickles and I have a jar of diced up uh, pickles um, it says you can also use sweet pickle relish if you want to I think I prefer the the sour you know the um other pickles and then there's mustard and she uses uh yellow classic mustard and then vinegar and uh white smoked paprika and a little bit of sugar which she uses monk fruit and that's what i use also okay so this is what it looks like let me show you all the ingredients here that's what it looks like there and um, let's see the uh, okay so you know you make all the, the salad just like you would a regular salad and then blend the dressing together you can use a blender I like a, a uh, I like a chunky dressing where you can see the ingredients in there um, and then you plate the cheeseburger salad. So you add the lettuce, tomato, shredded cheese, pickles to a salad bowl. And then you add the, <coughs> excuse me, the dressing or the beef and the dressing on top. And then garnish with the sesame seeds if desired. And this is what it looks like right here. That's what that deliciousness looks like. And our carbohydrate tonight is going to be the crusty bread with the garlic spread on it. So. I believe that that is a low carb and um, healthy meal. So um, when the when the uh, bread gets out of the oven, I will show you what it looks like after it's cooled down, and then um, I'm gonna put then I'm gonna put the um, garlic in because that takes about 40 to 60 minutes, depending. So I'm gonna wrap that up and put it in the oven for 40 to 60 minutes, and then I'll show you what that looks like. And then when we get ready to eat, I will show you that whole process. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so I have got um, about 12 minutes to wait for the bread to finish. So in the meantime, I got a couple of packages here. Let's take a look and see what they're what's in them. Okay, this is from Amazon. And um, let's just have a look and see what's in there. 
I've ordered a lot of stuff, so I really don't totally remember what it is that I ordered. All right, so this must be a, a dress. I've been ordering a lot of dresses. I've been getting into dresses lately. And, oh, I don't know why that happened. And so, how they put this together, wow. Okay, so this is a dress. And let's have a look, see. I've just been getting into the summer dresses this year. I love them, they're so cute. Most of them are adorable. And I've been actually finding some that have been fitting me really well. So, I'm keeping, I keep on ordering them. <laughs> All right, this is what this looks like. Flowered, gray flower. It's long and it's um, very light, very pretty. Um, I went from a 2X back down to an XL, so that's good. But who knows if this is gonna, oh, looks like it's gonna fit fine. But um, that's what it, let me turn the camera around so you can actually see what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm taking you back out here to the kitchen and this is the crusty bread right here. And it looks, I didn't s score it or anything, but it looks pretty good, don't it? It's still pretty hot, but it looks, uh, Looks like it's gonna be some tasty bread with our garlic. Okay, so in the meantime, um, when I was trying to show you the dresses, or the dress, and also I got a pair of, um, oh, what is it called? Jumper, a jumper. So let me show you the dress. Let me see if I can fix this a little bit better. There we go. All right, I'm not trying this on right now but I may in the future. But this is the dress. It's got those cute little sleeves, kind of like cap sleeves. It's got a waist, but I think it's an empire waist, like it goes just under the breast. And then it's got a full skirt, and it's a uh, ma maxi. Is it a maxi? No, maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a midi. Let me look, let's see. Yeah, it's a midi dress. So, while I was trying to turn the camera around to show you this dress, me and the camera went down. And thank God that the camera was off, or you would have seen it. Maybe I wouldn't have showed it to you though, but yeah. I fell on my knee. Um, uh, I'm a pretty strong woman, I guess, because I have, as many times as I have fallen, which lately it's been you know a, a few and I still come up with nothing broken thank the Lord thank the Lord let me get the jumper this is the jumper and it is uh, purple my favorite color and it's got the spaghetti straps but I'm gonna wear some kind of a like a t-shirt underneath it and then it's got pockets. Look at that. And it's so cute. And it is like mid, not mid, but down to your ankles. It's like an ankle, an ankle jumper. So there you are. And maybe in a future video, I'll try them on. Because I have more dresses coming. So um, maybe I'll just do a whole try on for you. Be right back. Okay, I'm back on the couch now, where it's safe, and I'm sitting down. Poor Nate comes running up. What happened? He was downstairs. <laughs> but, um, I'm fine. It, it's sore, of course, but I don't think there's anything broken or anything. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so have any, have you ever heard any of you ever heard of Magic Spoon? It's a low-carb, keto 
um, breakfast cereal, or cereal, I should say. And the only time you could get it is if you bought four boxes. And I'm like, I don't want to buy four boxes because we'll not eat it. So they have these on Amazon in individual packets, packages. So I bought this instead. And they have, let's see. Oh, here we go. Um, nope. They don't have the um, flavors on here. And of course, the flavors are all twisted the other direction. Uh, I don't want to open the whole thing yet. I know there's strawberry and there is frosted something. Um, and there is, I think, peanut butter in here as well. And there are no sugars, four net carbs, and 14 protein. So that's pretty good. I mean, you could even eat two of these in the morning and get uh, 28 grams of protein and only eight carbs. That's not bad for being not a keto, but a low carb way of eating. So the other thing I got, because I've got some sleeveless dresses and I've got some um, spaghetti strap dresses like that one, one but I thought I needed a strapless. So that's what this is. I'm not going to take it out of the bag and show you, but this is what that is. It's strapless and it's got the straps with it. And these straps go in any direction that your clothing goes in. So that's good. And then the last but not least is my favorite uh, sweetener, sucralose. I love this and I love monk fruit, but I use this mainly for my coffee and my tea um, because that only three drops sweetens that up for me. So that's what I was trying to do without because I they, they're changing their mind now that sucralose is not good for you, but you know, it's better than sweet and low and sweet and low is my other go-to. So I want to get off that. I want to get off Diet Coke and I'm doing better with that. So, okay. That's enough yakking for right now. Let's get back out into the kitchen. Okay, here we have the uh, ground beef right there. And then that is a paper towel soaking up the grease. And then over here is our crushed and a, a roasted garlic. And then over here is our crusty bread made with healthy eye corn einkorn flour and it is so good okay over here I'm getting ready to get the uh, whoops the stuff together for the ingredients together for the salad okay this is the finished product there is the roasted garlic with on the crusty bread there's the salad with the uh, cheese tomatoes lettuce and beef and here is the sauce that goes on it. I hope you all, let me try that again. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if uh, you haven't subscribed yet please do so. Also share the video and don't forget to hit that button and you'll be notified when I upload another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Bon appetit. Don't forget to be kind to one another also. It's a rough world out there. I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye guys.